And Kristen Pedamonte is a tremendous storyteller. She is a tremendously hearted woman, and um, she is a joy to have as a friend. And um, Kristen has been Kristen has been changing the world around her uh, for at least the last twelve years. Um, one one hug and one bubble blowing at a time. Um, so uh, I'm excited for you to have a chance to hear her and to have her have a chance to tell you some amazing stories. So please welcome Kristen Petamonte. Yeah. I thought we'd actually start with the participation right off the bat. So you should have all gotten a kazoo as you came in. No, I don't mind. And I found the Superman theme from the movie, the John Williams awesome Superman theme. So to get us in the superhero mode and the superhero feeling, uh, and I had a short kazoo lesson from Mary this very evening. I learned something incredibly important. When you play the kazoo, do not do an error as I have in the past and play it with the small end. That is not super. No. Okay? That is like wimpy kazoo. So we're going to spin it around to the wider end of the kazoo. And then, of course, to play the kazoo, you can't just blow through it. And can I tell you, I had another lesson recently. Have any of you ever heard of a didgeridoo? Yes. So I have a didgeridoo. And and for years, this is so embarrassing, I've had this didgeridoo for probably 10 years. And I thought I knew how to play it. Yeah, guess what? Did not. So I would take the didgeridoo, which is this like gigantic, it's like a really big kazoo, basically. And I, and I put the whole, whole thing in my mouth like this. I just go. <laughs> and I'm wondering why, no, why nothing's happening when I'm doing that. And not only did I do that for myself, but with a group of children. Yes, yes, a group of children and their parents and teachers. I'm like, hey everybody, here's a didgeridoo and let's all learn how to play it together. <gasps> hey kids, who wants to try it in the audience? And all these kids are coming up and I'm creating failures left and right because all the kids are going, you know, we wiped it with a... Please, it was, it was definitely, we did use a handy wipe first. It was clean. And the kids are, <laughs> And then I learned, it's like a big kazoo, you have to hum. So I shall turn on John Williams' mm. most amazing superhero theme song to put us all in the notion that we are indeed, every single one of us, a superhero just ready to be released. So I'm going to turn that on. Everyone get your kazoos to the ready. Remember, wide end, not wimpy end, wide end. And we're going to, as, and it doesn't have to be perfect because, hi, I'm not perfect, we're not perfect, and that's okay. <laughs> yes, and we're going to spin upon the person, and we're going to turn this way loud because it deserves it. Superhero transportation. <laughs> Safety. Yeah, and the best part, it has music. Everyone? <laughs> a while though. It'll stop. Yeah. 
So this is my um, preferred mode of transportation. And this big wheel uh, has been in several races, starting in New York City. That's a whole other story for a whole other time. But my big wheel is my preferred mode of transportation. It just traveled with me down to Baltimore, Maryland, where um, I did a superhero race with a friend of mine. It was just the two of us. And I can tell you that his neighbors were really surprised <laughs> when we got out of the car on the top of this incredibly steep hill. And we get and out of the back of the car we pull big wheels and we give each other the high five and we had headgear on so we were you know we were being wise uh, they weren't helmets but I had a panda hat and, and he was wearing a water buffalo <laughs> so we were safe as we were doing our superhero ride down through the neighborhood and it was really quite fun so we're gonna put this away later and if anyone does want to take a ride later and feel super I always share. <laughs> I watch Sesame Street a lot. That's a super thing to grow up with. Um, so the other thought I had as I was preparing for this evening, and this is a brand new show for me. There's one story that some of you may have heard before that I'm sharing tonight, but all the material is new for me. And it's called Release Your Inner Superhero, because we all have one. Everyone is capable of being a superhero themselves. And it's not about leaping over the tallest building. It is not about x-ray vision. It's more about sometimes leaping across our comfort zone and seeing someone who might be in need and having the courage to reach out and help that person, whoever that might be. And often the superhero experiences we have, it might not be us doing the superhero act, it might be us experience, it's experiencing someone else being super on our behalf or for us. So tonight's going to be a mix of true stories <coughs> And some of them are from my own personal experience, and some of them are stories that I found about some local people doing some super things, and some people around the world that people don't know about in everyday conversation, and I think we should know about these people. So I'm going to share a few of those stories, and then as Mary said, we're going to have an open mic, so you have an opportunity to share your super story, and I'm so excited about that part. And as I was preparing for tonight, I was thinking, you know, what would a superhero's closet look like? <laughs> <laughs> Exhibit A. <laughs> so I'm thinking, you know, Green Lantern, he probably has a Snuggie. <laughs> and I think that, you know, fabulous. And if anybody wants to borrow any of this when you're sharing your story, you are more than welcome. And I was thinking, you know, you got the Superman, Superman, you know, he's, and of course the chesticles, he has the chesticles. <laughs> and the abs, he works out, you know. And, but some days you might say to yourself, you know, do I want the red cape? Or is it a blue cape kind of day? <laughs> might have to make that decision. And then of course, of course, there is Wonder Woman. Yes. <laughs> and we'll leave the rest of that to itself. And then I was thinking to myself, I was thinking, you know, what is my superhero outfit? And then I had a flashback. Did anyone here ever watch Mr. Rogers when they were a kid? Yes. Mr. Rogers was an amazing superhero in my life. I grew up in a really chaotic household. And Mr. Rogers, he provided an incredible half hour of calm, serene gentleness every single day. I could always look forward to turning PBS on. And there was Mr. Rogers, doing everyday simple things like feeding his fish. And then we'd go to the land of make-believe. And Mr. McFeely would come with some sort of crazy, you know, crazy package that Mr. Rogers was never expecting. And you always wondered, why was that so? You know, but he never knew what he was going to bring. And they went on all these adventures together. And I was thinking, tonight I feel just a tiny bit of, like Mr. Rogers. Now, he wore a cardigan, not a hoodie. <laughs> but I've got my Mr. Rogers cardigan on, and I'm just going to take a moment, and if it's okay with you, I'm going to have my Mr. Rogers moment. And you know how he always came in and he changed his shoes? Yes. And then he took off his little jacket and put his little cardigan on. So I'm going to put my Mr. Rogers, this is like the outfit, if I was Mr. Rogers, this is what I would wear. <laughs> and no, it's not a striptease, please don't worry. <laughs> I saw a couple people with their eyes were like, what's going on now? <laughs> I didn't sign up for that. <laughs> no. So if I, if I was going to be a superhero, this, this is my uniform. And it really is, um, some of those who know me out in the audience, you know that this really is my uniform. Got my free hugs t-shirt. 
because that's important to have free hugs, offering those. And um, this is the new improved one, and I have to thank, I have to give a shout out. Gail's son, Max, had the idea for the back. <laughs> Which I thought was such an awesome thing. So when I'm out and you know doing my free hugs with my sign, and see someone sees me from the other side, and they see place hands here, and they might go, "What's that all about?" And then they come over, and I swing around, and they go, "Free hug." And, Ooh. Okay. So there's more to the outfit. Mm. Everyone's superhero outfit is different. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Tell you, I did my cousin's 11th birthday party last night. I went and I wore my black tutu and my free hugs t shirt. It was kind of a formal, so that's why I wore the black tutu, you know, rather than the pink one. It was formal. And one of the little kids came up to me and she said, Kristen, I love how you dress like a child for the party. Okay. And I was like, little does she know this is what I wear almost every day. <laughs> and then, of course, there's, there's the wings. These wings, you can see they've been around a little while. <laughs> Haven't we all? <laughs> Haven't we all, yes. Yes, these wings, have, these are like my punk wings because they're a little, you know. I was going to fix them and then I thought, no, they're kind of cool that way. And then my outfit, this would be my particular outfit. There's one last part. Okay, there's two. <laughs> That's my superpower. And then bubbles, and we'll talk about those later. So we all have our own superhero outfit that we uh, put on either literally or figuratively. There's things that we put on that, that gives us that extra boost of confidence when we go out into the world to do the kinds of things we're doing. And we all have that superhero. But at the same time, although I'm dressed like this right now, and I do wear this quite often, it's not always about wearing the cape or the tights or the underwear on the outside. <laughs> It really is about those everyday people. The people that live right in your own neighborhood, the people you work with, people that you may have gone to school with, people that you might to go to the place of worship with. There are superheroes right here in this very audience. Superheroes are indeed among us. And tonight, we're going to meet a few and release a few.